Good morning folks. My name is Joe and you're watching Safari Joe's Adventures. Today we're going to put the floor on the chicken coop. The concrete is ready to build on. I've got my lumber ready to cut so we'll get started and I'll show you how I'm putting this floor together. Basic carpentry is not really that hard. It's measurements and cuts. The one thing you got to remember, even for somebody that's been doing it a while, there's an old saying that says, measure twice, cut once. The wall framing in this is going to be 24 inch on center. I want my floor framing to be 16 inch on center. I started to lay my floor out at 24 inch on center instead of 16 inch on center, realized the mistake, and I changed it. Now there's many different ways you can fasten lumber together. I like to use construction screws myself. I injured my wrist a few years ago and swinging a hammer doesn't do it any favors. So I started using construction screws. I'll pre-drill one of the boards, drill through it, and that's how I make my connections. You can use hammer and nails. You can use nail gun. It's totally up to you. They're all fine ways of doing it. I've been using construction screws for 20 years and I've never had any issues with them. It saves my wrist, so that's why I'm doing it this way if you're curious. I find that when I pre-drill the outside board, it keeps the screws straighter and it's easier to put together. I have joined these two frames together. I've got the seat clamps on. I'm going to screw these together so they become one large frame. I want to talk a little bit about layout. You can buy really expensive tools, transits, builders levels to use for laying out your foundation and your floors. I've got background in laying things out and I have some fairly expensive equipment to do that. But I want to show you how simple it is and how easy it is just using the things that everybody has. So it's simple for everyone. There's some of the levels and transits that you may not have. If you have them, use them. That's, that makes things nice. But if you don't have them, I'm going to show you what I used for laying these things out. And it's not as hard as you'd think. The hardest part about construction or doing something you've never did before is just convincing yourself you can do it. It's really not that difficult. These are the tools that I use to lay out the footers and the floors to make them level and square. I got a four foot level, a sledgehammer, 30 foot tape, a 100 foot tape, a roll of mason string, and a line level. And you can do every bit of it with those tools right there. The other thing I used was some steel stakes. You don't need to use steel stakes. You can get wood stakes to use, just as long as you have some stakes to run your string on and to level the line. The first video I did showed how I used those stakes and lined up everything and got the footers in. I've got the floor frame built and you can look underneath, I've got some dunnage. I've leveled this floor. There's a couple areas that's just a pinch off. I'm going to show you how to fix that. This is fairly easy to do by yourself. You just start putting these pieces of wood under and keeping a four foot level on there. On this side, it is level. So we're going to go check the other side. We're level on the front side facing out of the pin. The outside on this end is inside the lines, but just a skosh out. 
I'm going to show you how to fix that. It's the same on the other side. It's just a skosh out. I'll show you how to fix that when I get ready to connect it to the foundation. So I've taken one of my little 2x4 scraps and I've cut three wedges out of it. I can slide this wedge in this front side that's down just a skosh and just slide it in underneath the 2x6 until it's level and then I can take my measurements and then when I cut them, get them all in there, everything will be level. Okay, I've got it level, took my measurements and I'm ready to cut the 6 by 6s I have numbered the pads and I will put measurements from the top and bottom of the 2 by 6 so I can cut and notch the 6 by 6 post and they will be level when installed. I've made two measurements, one for the top, the other for the bottom of the 2 by 6 This is going to be a bench, an edge that 2x6 rest on. You can't just screw the 2x6s to this. All they have holding them is screws. I'm going to notch these out and then this will fit right in the corners. I have all the 6x6 six six floor supports cut and in place. They're treated wood. Anytime you're putting a structure on the ground or on concrete, you really should use treated wood. You can see how they're notched. That way the 2x6s have something to rest on instead of just these screws holding them in the side. And I've got those in place in the corners. Now all I have to do is screw them on. After connecting the support columns to the floor frame, I use my 100 foot tape to square the frame by pulling it diagonal corner to corner and adjusting the frame to the exact measurement. So now I have the floor level, supported, and square. I made a connection at all four corners so it can't shift, and now I'm putting in the floor joists. It can be a little challenging to put these in by yourself. There is a way you can do it. It's fairly simple. Take yourself a little piece of wood, some screws, and then just take one of the ends and screw these screws onto the end. That piece of wood on the end will hold that in place like a third hand and it'll keep it level at the top while you screw in the other side. Once the other side is screwed in, you put the screws in this side. If you got a little bit of a twist in your board, you can use a pipe wrench, get under it, Pull up on it a little bit till it's square, and then drive your screw home. And just pull this off. And you're done. I'm installing the joist hangers, and then I will be putting the floor decking on. Well, good morning. Last night we got some pretty high winds. I wasn't able to put the decking on the floor. So this morning it's nice and calm, sunny. I'm going to connect the decking sheets to the floor and this part of the build will be done. The floor decking is 2332nds OSB tongue and groove. It is rated for 24 inch on center, but I've put the studs at 16 inch on center. I just want a little stronger floor in there. finished with the floor it's level so everything's good it's ready for the sides so I'll be putting the sides on next I want to thank you for sticking around and watching if you're enjoying the video and the content you can like and subscribe if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section you'll be notified when future videos come up and you can follow along with those also